If you hold cake tokens, I think you should definitely watch this video. I have monitored the PancakeSwap native token cake since early February and back then it was one of my top picks. I also raised the price target to $20 and the token's price went from $2 to $45 since I covered it. So I have basically bought cake since it was worth $2. And then I staked the acquired tokens in the PancakeSwap pools where I have been earning passive income in the past couple of months. However, many concerns have shown up during summer and recently, I had to make the decision if I should continue to hold or swap for something else. A few weeks back, I decided to sell all my cake tokens and in this video, I will explain how I came to the conclusion. Just a reminder, this is not financial advice and you should do your own research before making any investment decision. So in today's video, I will talk about the issues with the circulating supply, burn rate, the newly released NFT marketplace, steady decrease of APR in pools, competition and more. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you find the information helpful and if you're new here, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. Also, follow me on Twitter, we will find the latest updates on different altcoins. In the past days, I have published many updates on Bitcoin as I see huge gains coming in the coming weeks. Moving on to PancakeSwap, the issue with APR is that it has been on a downhill for the past months. I remember when APR was above 80% and now it's declined to mid 50s. I think it's pretty discouraging staking cake in pools now that there is a better option available in the market. AXS staking was launched in the beginning of October and the APR is about 100% the AXS tokenomics combined with the staking system is in my point of view the best out there. I saw many issues with the cake staking program but AXS solved many of those issues which motivated me to sell cake tokens for AXS, Bitcoin and more. Another issue with cake is the unlimited supply, they are basically printing new tokens through staking. While AXS has much better system where stakers earn rewards from existing tokens that are locked in the treasury. Another issue with PancakeSwap is the burning mechanism where less tokens are burned than emitted from stakers. Circulating supply has been on steady rise since launch. Last time I did an update there were 223 million cake tokens in circulation. And now there are over 232 million tokens. Even though the NFT marketplace and Pancake Squad was introduced lately, in my opinion, it did not help the burn rate. The NFT marketplace was something I was hoping would increase the burn rate to an extent so that circulating supply would be suppressed. However, it did not help that much and millions of new cake tokens are added in the circulating supply each week. I think that Pancake Swap has a long-term problem too many coins are inflating the market and not enough burning mechanism that is able to burn most newly emitted coins. The APR declines every week and the stakers are less rewarded. And then we have competition from other blockchains that are competing with Binance Smart Chain. When PancakeSwap had its moment, the only competition they had was from dApps built on Ethereum. And now we have dApps on Solana Chain, Avalanche, Phantom, Neo Protocol and more. And of course Axie Infinity staking program was introduced in October which offers better rewards and the tokenomics are fundamentally stronger than Cake. So when I invested in Cake token I wanted high returns from my staked coins and at the same time I wanted the value of Cake to double if not triple in the near future. I just don't see that going for pancake swap, therefore I decided to sell all my cake to other altcoins and bitcoin. Now if the tokenomics would improve and the burn rate would increase leading to decreased circulating supply, I might rebuy cake tokens and go back to staking program once again. But for that to happen, the APR must go up and the burn rate must increase. Meanwhile, I think it's better to hold Bitcoin and Ethereum because I think these coins are likely to double before Cake does. Moving on to the charts, Cake token still has not managed to get past all-time high, but it is trading above the 20-week moving average. And on the daily chart, 
MACD is trending towards the positive territory and we might see a bullish cross between the 20 day and the 50 day moving average. So this could lead to cake token revisiting $26 in the coming weeks. But if we compare cake token to Bitcoin, the chart looks pretty devastating. And it seems Bitcoin will outperform cake, therefore in my opinion it's better to hold Bitcoin over cake. So I have lowered my price target for cake token from $100 down to $45. In my opinion, I think cake token is not a good investment anymore. But let me know what you think of cake coin. Are you bullish or do you perhaps see the same issues with the token as I do? Comment down below if you're bullish or bearish. And if you enjoyed watching this video, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Check out my Twitter account if you want to know more about the coins we cover on this channel and thanks for watching and you will hear my voice in the next video.